Hello everyone and welcome back to me, Shiva Wilson, and my channel which is all about legalising recreational cannabis in the UK. Now today I have a slightly strange one, I'm going to go off topic, this is not specifically to do with cannabis but more to do with drugs in general. I just wanted to kind of give you an impression of something that happened when I took MDMA once. I actually took four pills of it in uh, all in one go and because it was obviously too much for my body to handle i puked up three of them and then tried to lick them up off the floor <laughs> but one of them got stuck in and maybe maybe it was like one and a half worth of the pills stayed down and um yeah and basically i turned into a dragon i started doing weird dragon poses and gurning like and um, I was doing this thing, I thought it was dragon yoga, which I was doing some weird stretches on this bench going. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, yeah. And I heard the sound from the Matrix, you know, when uh, Neo takes the whatever pill he takes. I can't even remember if he takes red pill or blue pill now. He takes the pill. And um, it goes. Ugh. You know, and, and all this uh, like silvery liquid stuff comes over his face and he goes. Ugh. <laughs> Well, I heard that same strange noise, like a, a bit like a modem sound, like, but it was like, in the back of my throat. And I realized then that the whole world was a simulated reality, a bit like the Matrix. So I was tripping balls, man, on that MDMA. Then I, as I said, I turned into a dragon and I shot out across, I was in Bournemouth and I shot out across the sea, um, like a Superman somehow. I was just staying in one place but imaginarily and it was very real i shot out across the sea um and i found that there were secret hidden buddhas and green taras uh if you don't know what a green tara is it's a kind of celestial buddhist deity um that the buddhists worship to gain insights and develop compassion and they ask for wish fulfillment and things like that from the Taras and they ask for them for protection and things like this and spiritual enlightenment to offer blessings and to help them develop moral courage and things like this. Anyway, I saw these green Taras and Buddhas then they were out there above the ocean, the sea, sorry, um, controlling reality from behind the scenes. Yeah, so that was interesting. So anyway, I've got ChatGPT to create a similar kind of vibe um just describing the whole thing from chat gpt's creative intelligence perspective so here we go this is a bit of a story about an ecstasy dragon <laughs> right the pill was as smooth and cool as a polished pebble a vibrant emerald green that seemed to thrum with an unseen energy elias a scholar of ancient texts had found it tucked within a dusty tome, a cryptic inscription beside it promising a transformative experience. Hesitation gnawed at him, but curiosity and a desperate yearning for something more won out. He swallowed the pill. His world dissolved in a kaleidoscope of colours, a dizzying rush of sensations. When it subsided, Elias was no longer human. He was. A magnificent dragon, scales shimmering, gold and emerald under the setting sun, powerful wings tipped with sapphire blue, unfolded, carrying him aloft. He soared above the waves, the salty spray whipping against his face. The air hummed with energy, carrying visions, serene Buddhas, their eyes radiating compassion, green Taras, fierce and protective their laughter echoing across the sky. They were not images, but living beings, their essence woven into the very fabric of the world. He saw them in the swirling clouds, in the crashing waves, in the flight of a lone seabird. The dragon, once Elias, felt a sense of belonging he had never known. His human anxieties were gone, replaced by an awe-inspiring understanding. He was not just a creature, he was part of the grand tapestry of his existence, connected to every living being, every grain of sand. The visions spoke of ancient truths, of interconnectedness, of the delicate balance of life and death. 
They spoke of a wisdom beyond words, a knowing that resided in the depths of his being. He flew, propelled by a newfound purpose, a yearning to share the wisdom he had gleaned. As the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in hues of orange and purple, he knew his journey had just begun. The dragon, once Elias, was now something more. He was a messenger, a conduit for the ancient wisdom, soaring across the sky, spreading the message of interconnectedness, of compassion, of the profound beauty of existence. There you go, that's a trip report from ChatGPT, who ate a pill and got high and turned into a dragon, just like me. <laughs> anyway, uh, I've been Shiva Wilson. We've been trying to legalise recreational cannabis in the UK. If you've not subscribed yet, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Good night.